Hi, my name is Max Kilfan. I'm 16 years old and live in Louisville, Colorado. In the last few years, I've been a petty chew twice. I am Jamie Kilcoin, and I'm on the board of Colorado Haiti Project. Though at St. Paul's, everyone just calls me Papa Max, which means Max's dad. St. Paul's was founded over 30 years ago by three priests by the name Dale Casey, Ed Morgan, and Father Lafontaine. That's right, Max. But did you know that there's a thriving early education program and dedicated programming in agriculture, entrepreneurship, and girls' empowerment, and a computer lab? And did you know that CHP just funded a brand new, safe, and durable building for pre-K to sixth grade? And did you know that we got a grant to help St. Paul's transition to solar power? And did you know that over 5,000 students have been educated at St. Paul's since its founding? That's awesome. Did you know that St. Paul's has scholarships in many areas, including teaching, accounting, agronomy, and solar training? That's a lot of scholarships, but did you know that Darlene, who is now a teacher at St. Paul's, was once one of those scholarship students? Why don't we hear from Darlene about what she thinks about education at St. Paul's? Nicolas. Moi, c'est jardinière. Ma travaille dans l'école Saint-Paul-là. Moi, j'aime un petit monde en pile. Et c'est rêve moi pour me travailler ensemble avec petit monde petit parce que l'école épiscopale, c'est les mêmes moi. Pire aimé, l'île comme. Et après, c'est parce que c'est là petit monde recevoir une bonne éducation. Nap gade tout paran confie l'école lan. Tel kon sa kote paran sorti, se la li vin mette petit li pas spe nou gen yon edukasyon ki vreman fiable. Nou gen yon lot de men, nou gen yon lot jenes nan komunite an paske se sa kfe nap travay, nou travay avek rigeur. La évolution, la montée, la bien en l'autre communauté. But I do want to say sincerely how much I believe in what's happening at St. Paul's, in what leaders like Darlene are doing, and in how much of a difference it's made in the community. Lots of kids in Haiti can't afford to go to school. There isn't really a public education system like we have here, and that makes continuing the work at St. Paul's all that more important. And even more importantly, St. Paul strives to have 50% girls in their school. Unfortunately, in Haiti, more boys than girls end up being in school. It's going to be a really hard year in Haiti this year, so we need your help. I think you're right, Max. To all of you out there, if you want to tune in and learn more about St. Paul's and all the other great Haitian-led programs that CHP is supporting in Petit True, tune in Sunday night April 26 at 5 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And when things die down, you should come on a trip with us to Petty Tree. Nailed it.